I just had the scariest lift ride of my life with an older male driver. Today, I got into a lift and an older man think 60s 70s was the driver. He seemed nice enough and we shared small talk. He mentioned his wife and his 20-year-old daughter and how his wife was ungrateful. Then, things got increasingly more alarming. He kept turning around to smile and stare at me and eventually says, we should be friends I just smiled and laughed. He then pulled out a notepad and a pen and asks me to write down his number. I knew it would be best to comply and appease him, so, I do. I take the slip and put it in my purse. He continues to become more aggressive and repeatedly turns around and states promise you'll call me? Promise you'll text me? We can be friends I can pick you up just text me, not call because my wife will wonder who it is. He repeated this like 10 times or more. At this point, I'm in full panic mode. I text a friend to call me and she does, so, I don't have to speak with him. I then realize that I need to be dropped off anywhere but my house. So, I have him drop me off on another street and I pretend to go into another house. I'm still shaking and I started crying when I told my mom what happened. I feel violated and unsafe because he might have my address. Why do we as women have to always fear for our safety? Why do men think it's okay to behave this way? This wasn't even some sketchy late night lift, this was at 11.00 am. Ah oh, that's a nightmare. Please put in a complaint via lift. I once had a lift driver get pissy with me when I set my drop off spot as a grocery store a short walk from home. He kept trying to insist on taking me home aka trying to get my address and I end up having to go inside to pretend like I was going to buy something until he drove off. Hope you reported him to Lyft. I'm so sorry that happened to you. His wife is no doubt ungrateful because he's the kind of fucking narcissistic maniac that thinks it's okay to harass and coerce his captive customers. Just a pro tip for everybody, I don't have them pick me up or drop me off at my house. If you can, pick the nearest public place like a store or gas station. I happen to have a police station one block from me, I often use that. Good on you for not letting him know where you live he sounds dangerous and you absolutely made the right decision. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Ah uh, what is it with older men? There's a guy who works at my corner store who's such a creep. He's like late fifties, and he asked if I wanted a bag, I said yeah, he said are you the kind of the girl who says yes to everything? That's what I like whatever. I just said gross. And walked away with my stuff lol. This seems to be a trend. Every last Uber or Lyft I've taken that wasn't a woman driver was either terrifying like your case or at the very least uncomfortable. Dudes hitting on me and being inappropriate. I live in a big city and take Uber or Lyft as my main source of transportation for going on 10 years I can safely say it has gotten worse. Please report this. I have a can of pepper spray and a stun gun that I carry on me at all times and I have never felt closer to using them as much as I have in the past year. These companies clearly don't give a flying fuck if women are safe. This is way scary. File a complaint and ask for a refund of your ride fare. It's not about the money, it's about alerting the corporate bin counters to how serious the problem is. If you ask for a refund and don't get it, then you can do a charge back on your credit card. Again, it's not the money, it's the attention. Meant to say I'm so sorry this happened to you. As a former taxi driver I'd recommend anyone take a photo of the car reg number and his plate number. Also, any decent driver would be fine with you taking a pic of their ID if it makes you comfortable then send it to a friend if you feel uncomfortable in any way. If you're ever in a conversation where you realize things may start heading in that direction before sharing phone number you could consider dropping in conversation how proud you are of your fiancé or husband who just got a military commendation for marksmanship. These guys don't respect women, but back off when there's a male that could pose a physical threat. I believe Lyft or maybe Uber now has a feature where you can notify them if you feel unsafe during the ride. All of this should be anonymous. But I would def report him ASAP, I think you can try the chat feature through the app to make it more urgent. Lyft doesn't care. 
I had a legit crazy man drive me in Vegas once, he was going on and on about how he invented the internet, the government shutdown was because he was suing Trump and they didn't want him to win, just completely bats hit crazy. Thankfully it wasn't a very long ride to the airport from the strip, but my point is, I complained to Lyft and they didn't give a shit. That's the last time I used Lyft. I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm so sorry this happened and I think you took all the right steps to stay safe if it were me I would report him on the app but I understand that's also scary to do. So sorry that happened to you. I had a terrible Lyft driver once too that I reported because he wouldn't stop asking to take me out on a date and would mention all these different spots along the drive home he could take me. I kept refusing and said I had a boyfriend. He then began berating me for any phone numbers I could give him of my friends. It was so uncomfortable and I got home and cried. I did report him, but I don't know if it got anywhere. I've had this sort of thing happen too, he wasn't as pushy but he pulled the hole while you're in town just call my number and I'll give you free rides thing. I took his number to avoid backlash and swiftly reported him to Uber. They apologized profusely and I assume he was let go from what they were saying. It's bullshit we can't just go about our lives without men pushing this harassment on us, especially when we are trapped in their GD car. I'm glad you're safe, hope Lyft fires his ass. A Lyft driver once asked me how long it would take for my husband to notice if I went missing after he suggested running away with him to Vegas. Whatever is going on with him, you need to report this, both to Lyft and the proper authorities. You should also contact Uber and other ride share services since most drivers work for multiple platforms. Someone should start a ride service with women driving women only, with some verification process to make sure men can't make use of it. The founder would be rich overnight with the amount of demand there'd be for that. Call it Valkyrie ride instead of Valkyrie or something, that even sounds catchy. At a minimum you should sign his phone number up for every daily spam text service on the internets. You handled it so well, though. I'm proud of you. I then realize that I need to be dropped off anywhere but my house. So, I have him drop me off on another street and I pretend to go into another house. Excellent situational awareness, you did the right thing. I worked with an older guy that acted like this, very pushy with me taking his number etc and he got pretty angry when I realized his motivations were off and said enough was enough. I'm so sorry you had this experience, but well done for keeping yourself as safe as you could friend on the phone, going to different house. Almost the exact same thing happened to me in a cab when I was 18. The guy gave me his personal number, told me to call anytime I needed a ride. He tried to get me to sit up in the front no, and he kept telling me how pretty I was and that I didn't have to pay for the drive because of it. I was super uncomfortable. I actually would go to the police about this. I think it's worth reporting. OP, as a mother of an 18-year-old girl you 100 did the right thing. It's so easy to be upset and chastise yourself for being nice and not going kick a psycho on him. But the reality is that faking compliance and being passive to get out of the situation safely is sometimes the best thing to do. In the moment, you read the situation and decided what was the best way to ensure you got away from him without being harmed. I applaud you for that. I took a lift once to pick up my car and this dude was telling me he's so lonely and can take me to Disneyland. Always cracks me up when men think all women are the same. It gaff about Disneyland that is not the white van full of candy that pervs think it is face with tears of joy. Jesus. I'm sorry that happened to you. How fucking hard is it to drive someone somewhere and keep conversation innocuous or non-existent? I'm so sorry that happened to you, OP. I know we are taught to smile and be sweet and I know it can be a survival strategy but growing up as an adolescent and teenager in a metropolis with very pushy men taught me to be stone-faced. It really does help. Oh man, I had one like this except I was 15 and was intimidated into giving him my number. Kept getting calls off a couple of different taxi drivers for weeks after inviting me to go for a cruise. Um no. I'm glad you're okay that must have been really scary. 